we'll give that a shot. Hey guys. Um, so I think I've dubbed this year the year of Wisconsin because this is at least our fourth trip back. <laughs> um, second trip to Menominee, we went to get out to Rockville, obviously. Rockville. Oh, I wish. Rock Fest. <laughs> uh, Rockville is a completely different thing. Um, and then we did a little day trip to, to Hudson. And I'm not sure in, if when we went to Wisconsin, if we or went to Wisconsin, went to Duluth at all, if we buzzed over to Superior or not. I don't not remember, this the, not this trip. Oh. Um, but it's only August, so I'm sure you know many, many other opportunities to to visit our our neighbor to the east. Um, and this time around, um, it's something special because because what are we doing? Murder fest. Zy Murder Fest. Well, oh, it's called Zy Murder Fest? Yeah. Oh, oops, I've been saying it wrong. Anyways, yeah, Zy yeah, Murder Fest. At Zy Murder uh, yeah. Brewery, um, which we visited last time, and I am going to put together a video of our, of our review and put that out at some point. I thought, thought that would be a cool new idea to do, like, brewery reviews. Oh, yeah. Um, and stuff. So, yeah, we're, we're heading back. Um, to Menominee, which, as we discussed previously, is a lovely little town, and if you have the chance, you really got to stop by there. Um, as we said last time, we didn't see very much of it, but the part that we did, we liked. I mean, we saw Zimmergy, we saw the candy store, we saw a couple antique stores, and we saw um, Mabel Tainter. the the Mabel Tainter. Uh, all of which were lovely. All the people seemed really cool. Um, but anyway, uh, so this is, yeah, this is I'm Murder Press. This is the fourth one, I believe, I think. Um, it's ten bands in nine hours. Um, so that'll be, I mean, which sounds about right, because each band is probably going to do, you know, no more. I mean, I'm sure, you know, maybe the headliner is doing a half hour. But oh. everybody else will probably be doing 20, 25 minutes. Um, and a lot, I mean, most of the bands on the bill I have not seen. Um, I've seen Gorgatron a couple times, a few times, interviewed them once. I don't know if they remember me, but, you know, they're, they're, they're cool guys. Um, I mean, Cam and, and Carl, the bass player and singer, are the two that I know the, are the two that I interviewed, so they're the ones that I kind of know. Um. And then there's uh, Dead Soul Symphony, who I've never seen, but I know the drummer of, Andy. You met Andy at the Mabel Tainter show. Oh. Um, he's also the drummer for uh, Beer Camp Pentagram. Pentagram. Mm -hmm. um, and I was at a Beer Camp show that I actually met him. And then he, I think he, back then, the idea for, uh, for Dead Soul was just kind of coming into fruition. So I think he's talking about that. Um, and I have their album. It's pretty freaking good. It's kind of thrashy. Um, so I'll be curious to see them. Who else is on the bill? Um, and now presenting Iced Wrist. I remember seeing that. Iced Wrist. Um, and I don't remember know. where they're from. Is it Visceral Reaction at this one? No, Visceral Reaction was last night. Gosh dang it. Um, um, okay. But Celestial Serpent's on this one. Oh, really? Yeah, and oh. we we met them at Death Fest. They were they were yeah. fucking cool. Oh, yeah. Um, and then uh, Maniacal Force is also on this one. And I saw somebody posted something. I was like, okay, who's that? And the drummer for Mani Maniacal Force is also the drummer for Apothic. Oh. So. Okay. We'll see how that goes. Um, I remember when, when Maniacal Force dropped their album and everybody was kind of going nuts about it. I think I have it, but, but confession time, I don't know if I've listened to it yet. <laughs> um, so, but, but I mean, you know, people like Will Marvels gave, I mean, he did the album, I'm sure oh. they did it at 1459 and he gave it his stamp of approval. So I'm sure it's freaking fantastic. Um, and other than that, I don't think I know anybody else on the bill. So what? That's that's four of the <laughs> of the ten. Wow. Um, so some new music. So a lot of new music uh, to be had. Um, so that that'll be fun. That'll be a good time. Um, 
and is that it's at Zimmerji. Zimmerji. I'm still not sure on the pronunciation. Thick energy Zimmerji. Zimmerji. It rhymes with energy. I remember them saying that. Okay. Or seeing it somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Rhymes with um, energy. Zimmerji. Zimmerji. And. This will be a completely different experience because last time we were there, the place was practically empty. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, this time around, it'll probably be three quarters full in band members alone. <laughs> and then the hundred or so tickets that they sold. Um, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be crowded. It's, yeah, it's going to be crowded. Um, but it should be a good time. And, and this is something interesting that I read is that today they are not open to the public. Oh yeah. So you need to have a ticket to get in mm -hmm. or pay at the door. Um, we got advanced tickets because somebody's smart. Uh, somebody smart maybe uh, me. Um, <laughs> but I think somebody mentioned that yeah this thing will sell out. Mm -hmm. And I was like okay. Because uh, mm -hmm. usually I mean nine times out of ten if advanced tickets, like for Death Fest. Mm -hmm. There were advanced tickets, but it would have cost more to get the advanced tickets with, with the taxes and the and the mm -hmm. whatever, the fees and whatever, just to, than to just buy them at the door. Um, but in something like this, um, they were actually less. So it's like, okay, you know, um, and plus, you know, I wanted to make sure we got tickets because if this thing sells out, and it's and the brewery's not open to the public today, yeah. Obviously, we I mean we could sit like across the street and probably hear it <laughs> just fine, but it wouldn't be the same. Yeah. Um, it wouldn't be the full uh, experience. Um. But yeah, so that's what we're doing. Uh, we're on our way. We're a little over a half hour. I'm um, gonna check into the hotel real quick literally go in there probably fill out the paperwork grab our keys and mm -hmm. and hoof it over to the to brewery uh well i mean we're gonna get there early so we'll have a little bit of time to go yeah um because you know as you know hotel check-in is at three show starts at three and we're not that far from the venue but far enough that you know and then since we're getting there probably you know after it starts um, and it looked like in some of the pictures they they um, put out um, that it looks like most of the parking lot is like blocked off mm -hmm. um, to accommodate people, I would assume. So I don't know where parking is. I don't know, if, yeah. you know, where additional parking is. So we're gonna have to figure that out. Um, and yeah, but. We'll get there. We'll get our faces melted by nine hours of, of metal. Mm -hmm. um, we will have. We will probably have some beers. I would assume. Mm -hmm. um, they are brewing a special one for this event. I forget the name of it, but it's a. I don't know if it's an actual dark beer, like a stout or something, or if it's another like black ale. Mm -hmm. um, I think I you might have said black ale. Which kind, of ale. which kind of makes sense. I mean, because is it there we had the black ale last time? I think so. Yeah. Um, but it's a it's a lesser percentage. I think they said it was like a 4.2, 4.5, something like that. Um, but they'll have, you know, some of that. Um, Big Ash, A-S-H, uh -huh. pizza. Uh, they have a truck that will be on site. So we'll get pizza, I think, four to eight or something or three to eight something like that was the time of the pizza so we'll we'll be sure to eat something um time of the pizza the time of the pizza and i'm assuming it'll probably be good pizza um and yeah yeah so that that's what we got going on and again we're gonna try to do like actual vlog stuff and and because the last couple of videos I, I put out, I had to do them in two parts, mm. which I really don't like doing. Like I'd rather just be concise and do it all on one, but 
you know, when you have, like for the Rockfest one, it was, you know, uh. damn near 45 minutes of, of vlog stuff. Yeah. And then I think I cut it down to another hour and a half, uh -huh. I think, of us doing the, the actual review and, and merch haul. Um, wow. Something like that, of the like two and a half hours we filmed. Um, Cause you know us. Once we get talking, we just kind of go. Um, so we're gonna try to do that, but it probably won't work out. But whatever, it's fine. We'll see. <laughs> and then you know, who knows what we're gonna do tomorrow? Mm -hmm. I mean, check out eleven, but then we pretty much have the rest of the day. So I don't know if we're gonna hang around Manami for a little bit. If we're gonna find something else. If we're gonna hang out with your friend Mel and her guy and do something, or maybe that'll be today, who knows, I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. Mm. Anything else, anything you're looking forward to in today's um, adventure? Just, just music, just having people who love music all around and just chilling, just relaxing music and trying some different beers, because you know, I love to do that. Um, mm -hmm. Hopefully our hotel bed is nice and comfy, so we can sleep comfy later. And, um, yeah, just 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 hanging out with you and seeing big music and having beers. There we go. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun. Yeah. So that is the plan. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so we'll check in uh, probably once we get into town and. Again, kind of give you, well, probably not a tour of the room, because we're going to go straight to the brewery, but, well, maybe, I don't know, we'll mm -hmm. figure it out. We'll see. Figure it out. Yeah. Anyway, bye for now. and one beer in <laughs> here so just kind of give you the, the lay of the land there's all the taps back there Stays over there um, then all the merch is out here on the patio which is pretty pretty cool and back there in the corner is going to be like fire stuff so, um, but we're two bands in. What do we think so far? We're good. Two thumbs up. Two yeah. thumbs up. Freaking um, awesome. Other than the fact that so uh, Dead Soul Symphony that just got done, their drummer just about died halfway through the set. Um, Come on, guys. Yeah. Other than that, don't kill the drummer. Don't kill the drummer. Uh, other than that, we're we're doing okay. And you gotta um, watch out for all the wasps. There's wasps. There everywhere. are a bunch of wasps and bees and yeah. other assorted uh, insects, but yeah. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Yeah, um, so and, far so awesome. And we're up to, well, I'm empty. You're out of beer. Almost empty. I need more beer. So we need to go get more beer, and then we need to go look at merch. More merch. Dead Soul Symphony for sure, because the drummer almost died for the set, so I yeah. feel obligated uh -huh. to at least get a t-shirt. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, so far so good.
Okay, so we're we're another beer in and two more bands. You're like really close. Is it on you or is it there on There we go. Um, so we saw Maniacal Force who were freaking awesome. Yep. I think you compared them to a to a steamroller? Ah uh, yes. <laughs> steam they, train. A steam train, absolutely. Just chugging along. Yeah, they, yes. they they were all kinds of thrashy goodness. Mm -hmm. Um and then we just saw a celestial serpent. So Ooh. good. Jesus fuck. Um I mean we just saw them as I was combating a month and a half ago yep. for the first time at Midwest Death Fest. And they impressed me way more. I mean, yeah, they're yeah. absolutely even more this time. Even more this time. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. So um, good. Yeah. So so we're a couple more beers in. Um yep. we should probably get some food at some point. Pizza. Some pizza. Pizza Steve. From from Big Ass pizza um but yeah so we're about what halfway through give or take um about ish i think oh, there's fire breeders outside yeah the fire's outside uh we'll be so eventually four we're not even halfway through so we're four bands through so we're almost halfway through almost but we're we're, we're done with the ones that are being done kind of like oh yeah one after the other one after the yeah. other so we got got through the first like four um, and all of them, I mean, there hasn't been a band bad, bad band yet. Yeah. They've all just been absolutely fucking killer. So, yeah, so far. And, but I gotta say, the beer's going down way too easy, so. Yeah, although I'm not so big on this, um, and it doesn't sit as good as the porters do. So. Oh, if you don't want to finish it, I'll, I'll fucking take it, yeah. I mean, I, I'm. This might be my new my new beer of choice. Yeah, That's really it's cool. not. It just doesn't fit the same as the other stuff. Mm -hmm. So, but, yeah. But so yeah, so we're probably gonna wander over get some food. Um, probably hit up a couple of merch dudes because uh, Carl's looking kind of lonely at the Gorgatron booth, so we might have to go say hi. All right. Um, and they've got, of course, have new fucking merch, so it's like, god damn it. Um, but yeah, so we'll mid mid show reports. So far, so good. All the bands are kicking ass. Um, the sound here is surprisingly good. Like I didn't know what to expect. But and again, it's loud, but it's not, it's not overbearing. Yeah. It's not sharp. Like especially during the, these guys' this set. I mean, like that snare drum cut through everything. Uh, I went and talked to the drummer and see what kind of snare he has, because that was fucking insane. Um, I, everything else just kind of melded into like a like a hum almost. It was, but yeah. So sound sound wise, I'm impressed. Considering we're in like a you know concrete floor kind of open ceiling kind of room, um, which isn't quite. I mean, a fairly good crowd, but not nearly as packed as it should be to a floor that would sound. And there's Master Dan. That was a nice little, that was that, a nice little Mosh pit. That there. was a good pit, man. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that was... Build the end, yeah. the pit, they will come. Yeah. Or not, they you, you are doing ah, your job well, yeah. Showed up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely, man. man. Just like that boy, I'm all lonely in this pit. I don't have people that was our friend Masher Dan. Um, we may talk to him later, who knows.
we survived fairly. Yeah. Um, slept like rocks. Slept like absolute rocks. Uh, this bed mm -hmm. is actually really comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, so good job, uh, Super 8. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so, okay, so where did we eat? Uh, we left off at, oh, and I had that put aside and then I lost it, so. Very, very handy. Oh, yeah, we got a lot to cover. Um, <laughs> so we left you off. Left you off. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Somebody could use some coffee, even though you hate it. But... Even though I hate coffee. Um, <coughs> They're all sick. So when last we... Anyway. Last time we visited last you. Last time we visited you, uh, we were eating pizza. Which was absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was really, really good pizza. Yeah, it was um, pretty good. And we had just eaten a uh, celestial serpent mm -hmm. who absolutely tore up the place. Oh, yeah, they're good. Um, and Pantheon, Pantheon um, was on stage as we were eating. Mm -hmm. um, and they were, oh, you don't have your phone for your notes. I'll get my phone. Yeah. Now, want to grab those t shirts right there, too? Sure. Because, I mean, here's one of the shirts that I got. We'll, we'll kind of inter, intersperse uh, merch. And it's going to be backwards so you can't read it, but... Oh, it's way up here. Let me... Oh. All right, so that's kind of... Yeah, and that that's from the first band, I stress, who came in all the way from Lincoln, Nebraska. Yeah. Nebraska, whoa! Um, That's what the one guy kept saying. <laughs> yeah, um, and they were good. They were good. I like them. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so no. Anyway. Oh, so yeah. So oh, so okay. Da, 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 da. Where are we? Celestial serpent. Are, are we gonna? We might. I mean, we might as well just quickly. Go okay. Through. So yeah. So ice wrist. They yeah. They were. They were like. I didn't know what to expect because they were like. And introducing ice wrist, so I'm like, well, are they new or what's going on? Mm -hmm. They were actually like way better than I was expecting. They seemed fairly seasoned already, almost. Didn't yeah. They? Yeah. So I'm curious if it was if this is like a new band made up of yeah, you know, seasoned seasoned people who, who mm -hmm. like got together in this new entity and yeah. Yeah. Um. Um. I don't know. They kind of had a little bit of a corn vibe to them, from what I remember, but. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have anything to add to that, but they were good. I mean, yeah, 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 they were really good. Um, mm -hmm. And and again, really, really appreciative, mm -hmm. and like pretty mm -hmm. much all the bands were. Mm -hmm. Oh um, yeah, yeah. And so next was uh, Dead Soul Symphony. Yeah. Who I know uh, the drummer from this band, Andy, because he also plays um, in a band. I think they're still around called uh, Beer Can Pentagram. Um, Which is just an awesome name. And you got a CD too somewhere. Oh, am I? Yeah, they're in there on the right hand side, probably in the bottom now. Uh, yep. Let me just do it quick. Because again, it's backwards, so you can't read it anyway, but mm -hmm. that's good. Um, yeah, and yeah. this is my mm -hmm. actually first time seeing them. I've had the album since it came out, like God, a year and a half ago, two years ago, something like that. Um, so I've listened to it and I kind of knew what to expect. Um, and I, and we were talking to Aaron and Kellerman mm -hmm. and Kellerman was like, yeah, you've seen these guys. And I'm like, no, I haven't. He's like, they got a heavy, like obituary vibe to them. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, cool. And I would agree. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's a little deathy. It's, it's thrashy. It's, mm -hmm. yeah, it's. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I like them. I know that like the bass, the bass and then the drum, like drummer, like I just was like, whoa, like, which one do I watch? Do I watch him? Do I watch him? Like, just awesome. But, but yeah, um, he is a crazy drummer. He's he very, very intense. Ugh. Intense is a good really word. Intense. Yeah. And, and yeah. I and mean, just, just in talking to him, he kind of has that mm. kind of underlying intensity, even when you're talking to him. Mm, yeah, I can um, see that. But in a good way. In a good way. Yeah. I mean, not yeah. in a bad way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, when he's playing, he, he, whew, yeah, I like <laughs> to, totally kicked ass. Um, and then yeah, yeah, like it was like a I don't know, it's like a steam train, like a chugga chugga chugga, but like really fast, like mm -hmm. just 
just plowing along mm -hmm. kind of a sound that they had to me but then now the, also there was like in their parts in there were it almost had like that trita vibe to me a little bit yeah yeah, yeah. that i'm still missing them um but i'm very very good and and don't don't overhydrate folks because then, yeah. then you almost kill the drummer. The poor drummer overhydrated. Yeah, and he, he, where he was explaining So he's got to live this down, I guess, because there people were already giving him shit at the end of the night and stuff. Oh, but, yeah. Um, but he had like, what? He said he got like of water. six bottles of water right before the show. Because he's like, you know, it's hot out. You know, yeah. And then uh -huh. two songs in. They did not want to stay in. I, I mm -hmm. just look over and we're right by the garbage can. He's there and. Yeah, all, poor guy. All six bottles are coming out. Yeah. Um, and then he kind of like walks away, just like, I just need to walk for a second. Yeah. And my professional brain is thinking, you've got 25 minutes. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. But then the other hand of me is like, oh, yeah, you probably want to. you got to kind of get yeah. regrouped <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. I mean, your body, bodies, if they don't want it, they're not going to. So yeah. You and especially gotta... going, putting it through what he was putting it through. Cause, yeah. Because again, he's. Mm. A just, very intense, very precise, very hard hitting uh, mm. individual. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. That, and that was just, yeah, that uh, he's a pleasure to watch. That was mm. crazy good. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so so just don't kill the drummer. That's, yeah, that's, that's our only rule is just don't kill the drummer. Yeah. Mm. Um, and so the next was Mani Maniacal Force. Were they next? That's oh, we yes, they were. Yep, yep, yep mm -hmm. they were, they were mm -hmm. next. So, um, did we get a um, CD from them? Did we get anything from them? I don't remember. We got patches from them. And this is not them. That is not them. Yeah, we got... Oh, that's right. We got patches. Yes. We got patches. Oh, and we got... This was the other t-shirt design that they had. Mm, they and so I got that... Way a little bit. I got that one instead, so... There you go. I had to get that in a patch. And mm -hmm. then we got a free sticker so with the oh, yeah, shiny one. That. Yeah, shiny, shiny. Of course, um, of course. Let's see, and then, nope, they're not done. Mm. And then mm. Maniacal Force. Now there we go, we did get a see. Which is what they say, the second to the last copy mm. of their mm -hmm. um, original demo. That's cool. And Is again, backwards so you can't read it, but whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and then the album, which uh, I got somewhere along the line. I don't know mm. if I got it in one of the packs that I ordered from 1459 or it, mm -hmm. maybe we'll just included it in something. I don't know because I've ordered so much stuff from mm -hmm. from all the zero budget bands that occasionally he'll just throw in like a couple extra whatever. Mm -hmm. But I have this album. It's really good. But I don't. But she doesn't which is why we had to get a copy. CDs. Give me CDs. Yes. So yeah um, and then it's a maniacal force. I didn't put anything for them. I mean I thought they were good. They were really good. I mean yeah. I you know, I think I was probably so busy watching that I forgot to take my notes. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, um, yeah. I, I don't know anything that stands out from them because I didn't take my freaking notes. It, so. Except they were just really good. And, mm -hmm. I, and, and they were one of the, I think between them, uh, Gorgatron and, and the mm -hmm. last band, those were the three like really mm -hmm. like high point, like bands people were looking forward mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. um, narcotic, yeah. narcotic by Slut. Um, so yeah, this is my first time seeing them, and I, I was impressed. Um, and talked to the drummer a little bit after at the merch table, and he seemed really, really cool. He's staying in this hotel. Um, oh, I think the whole yeah. band is in the hotel. Yeah, actually. <laughs> was that last night when we got here, and we were like, it was "You like, guys hey, look familiar." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then I saw him uh, when we were having breakfast. So I'm walking up. Oh, him. and then the long-haired guy. Oh, that's the bass player for uh, Celestial Serpent. <gasps> I was going to say something, but he looked kind of. Not not quite awake yet, so I'm yeah. just like I'm just gonna. <clears throat> do it. Mm -hmm. um, doesn't want to deal with. Doesn't want to deal with early with in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's not necessarily early in the morning, but yeah, you know. Well, you know. Mm -hmm. um, um, yeah, so that that th those were the first like four that they had kind of in a row, mm -hmm. and then after that the the fire started. The, the fire performances yeah, started fire started between bands. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so Celestial Serpent, the, I mean, they were Yeah, I mean, they're, we, we, phenomenal. we discovered them at, um, or first saw them at, at Death Best, of course. And it was funny because I eventually uh, caught up with the drummer because his snare 
was just cutting through everything and popping and just phenomenal. So I had to find out what it was and we were chatting and he's like, yeah, I hope this, this, uh, is redemption for the first time you saw oh. us. Because <laughs> he feels that wasn't a, a good performance. I mean, other than uh, his bass drum pedal falling apart at one point. Oh. Um, I, thought, I mean, I thought their showing there was very good. I thought this I was did. better. Yeah. I thought this mm. would seem much more cohesive, cohesive and, and tight. Mm. Yeah. I mean, so they're, they're definitely impressive. Definitely check them out. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And then, yeah, then after that, we got, we got pizza. Mm -hmm. and, which was excellent um, and just sat down for for a minute because again pretty much you're standing on concrete yeah which is not the most comfortable thing to stand in and, and mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. for today because mm -hmm. everything is kind of old man I know old I'm old. man that's okay um, mm -hmm. but uh, we got ibuprofen on board yeah we got ibuprofen I got caffeine over there so I'll be fine mm -hmm. um yeah, so we just mm -hmm. we just wanted to like sit down for like a minute, mm -hmm. you know, um, and then while we we're sitting there, uh, Pathion started. I think that's how you pronounce it, um, and and they were good. I mean, they were they were heavy. They were. Can I just add that the Celestial Serpent? I noticed they had a good harmonizing with their like guitars going on. Oh yeah, yeah, like really good. And then they're like, still very good, so good, so good. Those are my notes. Mm -hmm. So when I have like, yeah, okay, I had to add a couple extra goods in there. Oh, of course, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I remember us both being like, oh, oh, mm -hmm. oh. So, um, yeah, and then Pantheon, uh, and I interrupted you when you're talking. But yeah, we were sitting there eating the pizza and kind of listening. And kind of listening, and I'm like, this sounds familiar. And I asked you and you mm. couldn't place it right away mm. i asked kellerman because he joined us and he couldn't place it right away and then she's like volcano diving and i'm like yes because all of a sudden the <laughs> brad grim just bloop, plopped into my head <laughs> and i was like oh that's what it that's what it reminds us of yeah, it the is vocalists it and, is very like, reminiscent yeah, the, yeah of volcano if you're not familiar with volcano diving huh get on it because they're huh. awesome too <laughs> uh, i think they're working on new stuff so which should be cool yeah um, yeah so so um and i don't know how long uh pantheon has been around but they had a whole crap load of merch yeah oh like, they yeah had a lot of stuff that's the band that had all the yeah the band next to uh oh. dead soul symphony that had like the you know the mm. dozen different t-shirts one of them in the porn hump logo which i just uh, about got but i'm like Ugh. i know i was actually <laughs> and then were they the one that I had that girl, the the mean girl from the vi from the porn videos, and it's like, oh my gosh, you go oh my gosh, you're gonna make me mosh, like. Oh, I didn't even see that. But yeah, probably, I, I think so. And it probably, was like, I didn't even see it that. It was one. funny. Oh I I kind of almost got that one because it's just hilarious. Okay, now we now we yeah. have to follow. Mm -hmm. them so <laughs> they obviously have our sort of sense of humor. I told. Mm -hmm. okay. So um, next up was a band that I don't think anybody had heard of. Yeah, I uh, uh, A band called Ancient Entities. Um, and when they started, I think we were still sitting at the table because we just oh. literally sat down for like an hour or something. I think we had gotten up, we saw, no, you're right. Well, yeah, I, I we went were up. We were still kind of, yeah, you did go up. Yeah, because I went up and... to get a little bit of, of Patheon and then came back and then these guys started and I think eventually, like probably halfway through their set, we finally kind of made our way yeah. up there. We kind of all said like, oh, I better go check them yeah. out. Oh, I better go check them out. Yeah. You know? um, so. And the first thing I look and I'm like, okay, the drummer and the guitar player are both in Celestial Space. And, and the drummer was a singer. Yeah, in Celestial. In Celestial uh, Serpent, who is also running sound, by the way. I noticed that. I was um, like, dude, is he running sound too? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he was kind of halfway right in the whole show which is yeah. very cool um mm -hmm. yeah and then the, the guitar player on the end was also a guitar player for celestial um but and 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 these guys i mean up until that last song that last song kind of turned me oh. that, that was more of a thrashy song and mm. less of a deathy song mm. um other than that it was it was pretty much i mean i don't want to stay like standard death metal but you know it, was what it was, mm. but what do you got for? Mm. Just uh, they just totally remind me of Defiled, um, mm. uh, Sacrament, 
uh, not totally, but like the vocals kind of did. Mm -hmm. um, I am just kind of a little bit of that vibe. But otherwise, um, yeah, that the guitars and the drummer are both in Celestial mm -hmm. Serpent. But no, really good. I mean, I think they were pretty dang tight and stuff too. Another oh, yeah, one of yeah, those bands sure. that might not have heard of, but they mm -hmm. got their act together, mm -hmm. mm, pun intended, I don't know. But um, like, yeah, they really are good, mm -hmm. tight. Yeah, and, and as we said, there were no bad bands on the bill. Like, oh, no. Like every uh -uh. band freaking brought it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It, it, yeah. Yeah, they were, they were good. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. They were solid and tight. And all that. I feel like I didn't take notes on everybody. I don't think I did. Did I take notes on everybody? Sorry, um, you keep talking. Well, we only have three one, bands two, left. Two, oh, maybe I did then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Yes, I did. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. <clears throat> so right. after them was more of the fire and yeah. things, and I think we got more. Oh yeah, and oh yeah, and the glasses. <clears throat> Those are cute. They're cute little glasses. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And those were what? Ten bucks. Ten and bucks then, with then the each, first fill. With the yeah. first fill, and then each. Uh, fill after that was only four bucks as opposed to the regular five bucks or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but, and I was thinking about this, I'm like, okay, so they don't have a year on them. So we, no. can we bring them back next year and use them? Or I don't know. Do we have to buy more? Buy, you know? I think you, I don't know if they're different. That would be a good question for the people at the brewery, actually. That is true. Like, is this a new thing or have you had these every year and are they different each year? Do they have like, I don't know that they would have a different logo because I think that's kind of their both of their logos, isn't it? Yeah. And they don't have a year, so is it going to be the same cup next year, or yeah, do we bring back our cups next year? So, I, I guess if anybody that knows any answers to that question, anybody sees that's this? been that's been to previous uh, Zermurder Fest, did they have the cups, and can you reuse them next year? Mm -hmm. That's okay. Yeah. Um, do they have different cups? Yeah, and I, I mean, I'll, I'll tag. Zimmer G in this oh, video, obviously, yeah. and, mm -hmm. and if they want to, if, um, what's the dude's name? John? I don't remember. The one who did all, did all the update videos and, oh, and uh, yeah. beer launches and stuff. I would have to look. He was the guy who was working the, the outside beer trailer. <clears throat> he, he seemed mm -hmm. really cool. He seemed really cool. Oh, I thought he looked familiar. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. yeah. I didn't figure that out until so, so I don't know if he's like, you know, one of their master brewers or like mm -hmm. a president or something. I don't know. But I mean, he's obviously kind of higher up, but very, it seemed like a really, really cool guy. I mean, just seemed like yeah. a nice guy. Yeah. Um, anyway. Uh, who uh, next up uh, is Nest. Nest. Another yeah. band. I was like, okay, no idea. Uh -huh. And they... They were more almost of like a hardcore band, mm. um, just in that in their in their approach and just kind of mm. more of a punching you in the face kind of thing. Oh yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Until the middle of their set where they did a cover of uh, Jailbreak, uh, Jailbreak, uh -huh. Lizzie, which was which was good but a little yeah. unexpected. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then. One of the songs you're like, this mm. reminds me of Smashing Pumpkins, mm -hmm. and at the end, the very last song was a Smashing Pumpkins cover. Yeah. So, <laughs> disarm, disarm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they were good. Um, mm -hmm. the, the guitar singer, and maybe it was because um, he had that look about him and shorter hair, reminded me of, of one of the guys in Helmet. Um, for those that remember Helmet, mm -hmm. um, same kind of. Because uh, faint memories of when I saw Helmet back in 92, mm -hmm. I think, on the Meantime Tour. Um, same kind of stage presence oh, as well. Okay. So that mm -hmm. very kind of, you know. Um, mm -hmm. But really good. I mean, really surprising. Really good. Like, I, I was, yeah, I was pleasant, mm -hmm. pleasantly surprised by it. <clears throat> yeah, and I haven't did it. I just thought the bass was really great. But, like, just watching the bass player, like, mm -hmm. ooh. So yeah, and they were they were a, a trio. They were the only mm -hmm. trio on the on the bill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they were good. Like like nice and tight and punchy and yeah. Yeah. And then at this point in time I, I found it appropriate to note that there was an alien that just showed up. Yeah. And um and it was funny cuz when we were at the metal at the Mabel show there was a, a 
guy dressed as a tin man mm -hmm. that was just starts walking walking down the street and um so i'm like well geez we don't have any tin mans but we have aliens now mm -hmm. so I and then that was... and then we were jokingly discussing this discussing this morning it's like so we have horse slaughtered in the city they have an alien here you know are there more mm -hmm. like in other cities and then do they get together is there a facebook group like yeah what? <laughs> could have the if not there should be the monthly meeting of the mascots or something the mask m-a-s-k ops mm -hmm. yeah and Trent, so yep. on it. and then um. <laughs> we all like have that at that synergy so mm -hmm. yeah yeah that would work yeah that'd be so um yeah <laughs> the meeting of the mascots but yeah, so that was just kind of funny. Like, yeah, is this their their version of oh, horse lord? Of horse lord, yeah. As the alien guy. But so yeah, I just noticed that. So then yeah, so then next was Gorgatron. The mighty Gorgatron, who yeah. she has never seen. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I've seen time. a couple times. I've interviewed uh, Carl and, and Cam. Um, they had another shirt that I wanted more, but this was the only one they had in a two X. But it's still pretty cool. And again. Yeah backwards but mm. you should be able to make that up mm -hmm. um and yeah that's all I got. Mm -hmm. um yeah and and as far as crowd volume and participation mm -hmm. i think gorgatron wins oh, yeah. like i think they mm. really had the best crowd mm. like yeah. I, I think they were again like highly anticipated mm -hmm. by everyone um Rightfully show because you know they're mm -hmm. fantastic. Yeah. Oh, and then and, and, and I just found it funny that they were like, and this next song is about wasting your whole paycheck on band merch and beer. And then to I which I leaned like, down and said, I feel called he's out. Like, oh, they called yeah. me out. <laughs> but um. <laughs> so that was that was just awesome. But yeah, no, I was like, wow. Like, yeah, I agree, guys. They're they're really good. They're mm -hmm. I, I did enjoy, thoroughly enjoy their set. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, and they, they actually have a pretty good sense of humor, which really really mm -hmm. didn't come out on stage. But if you watch their videos, they're, they're mm -hmm. pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, and they ended their set with their uh, their cover of Sepultura's uh, Dead, Dead Embryonic Cells, mm -hmm. which is on their last uh, release, mm -hmm. a live version, which I would set up, but I, they didn't put a digital uh, download card in it. So, oh. mm -hmm. And... I don't have a Walkman or a tape player anymore, so mm, mm. it's just sitting on my shelf. I mean, you could probably find it like on Spotify and, mm. and all that, but yeah. But it's cool because it's like a purple cassette or something. It's like oh. really neat. Anyway, um, and they did that expertly. I mean, mm. yeah, mm. yeah. <sighs> and then okay. let's see, embryonic more. autopsy. Embryonic autopsy. Mm. Um, Again, didn't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. This is the band, at least the singer's kind of on stage presence, that mm -hmm. gave me um, uh, Sacrament. Oh, oh, that's vibes. right. Yeah. Defiled, 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 defiled yeah. vibes, yeah. Uh -huh. Just because. True, true. I mean, not not his vocals, but just his literally just, just his presence. His just presence his kinda, and his performance, yeah. Yeah, yeah, very much so. I can agree. Yeah. But yeah, they were good. They, they were almost like old school death metal like mm -hmm. they were yeah that was cool i remember they got a cd too from them yeah and a pick and a pick. Mm -hmm. and, and, a, and a pint glass which is down in the car I'll oh insert, that's right i'll insert oh, picture yeah. of that later um now i know why you were going to bring it up and i i didn't it didn't occur to me before that. that's okay yeah and that's like pretty cool artwork too yeah yeah so yeah because he collects all the bar merch stuff too so he likes yeah if any band has that kind of stuff like flasks or or pint glasses or uh from surrounded by water i got a bottle opener which is pretty cool that's cool um shot glasses obviously um but yeah so we should, okay Oh, are yeah. we done with the actual um, performance? Uh, yeah, just I was just very impressed by them. I didn't know quite what to expect from that title of a band, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, no, they freaking were good. I, I was. Oh yeah, happy. that's the other thing. When when uh, Ancient Entities was on, 
I was like, you know, that's why band names are funny because with that name, I was expecting something a little bit more proggy, a little bit more techy, mm. and they were just like straight. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, <laughs> with a name like Embryotic Autopsy, I know exactly what I'm getting. Oh yeah, you yeah. do. See, yeah. I don't because I'm not schooled enough. So and, I mean, once you see that, once you see their logo, it's like, mm. yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm pretty, mm. pretty sure I know what this is. <laughs> um, and it was, and it was, it was awesome. It was, it was really awesome. I, I didn't know what to expect at all, but I mm-hmm. was very impressed. So it was, it was very good. Mm-hmm. I, I was highly, I was entertained. Are you not entertained? Yes, she I'm was entertained. Very, she was entertained all the time. She was such a happy place. <laughs> I was, I was like, um, like, oh yeah, I think that's a band where I was like, Bleh. I found myself smiling like a dumbass again. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, because I was just like, oh, and, and also Narcotic Wasteland, which is next. Um, yeah, we'll I was smiling at them like um, like, a, like that kid in yeah. a candy store. Kid in a candy store. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so we go up to, to Embryonic's uh, merch table because I saw I saw before that they had flasks. And I'm like, okay, I might have to get one of those. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we go up there and it's like, oh, shit, you have pint glasses too. And the dude is like, yeah, that's the last one. And I'm like, well, I have to get it. And he's like, just do it. It's it's cracked. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to be using it, so it's fine. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah. So and then I think I got the last flash too because he mm. boxed it up off the table. Yeah. So it's like, okay, I'm just cleaning you guys out. Awesome. Um, <laughs> yeah, which happens sometimes. I've noticed which, which that happens really a lot. does yeah. happen with you a lot. So yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then yeah. So finally, we get to uh, Narcotic Wasteland who, as they were setting up, I looked up and said, okay, now that's uh, oh, yeah. uh, for Kick-Ass, because their drummer, mm-hmm. you know, big, probably nine or 10 piece double bass kit with the rack and a dozen cymbals. And I mean, yeah, it's, mm-hmm. so right right away, I'm like, okay. Mm-hmm. No, no, that was embryonic. I think that was embryonic. That had yeah, the, never big, mind. the big, big setup. Okay. Yeah, it's, um, it's the next day, so our brains, our old brains are trying to... A little fried. Um, ...cash everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, so they come out. Um, and these guys, I mean, I can t- you can tell they're, like, season, season. Because, mm. I mean, from out of the gate, they mm. came out, announced themselves, and just... Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. Basically hit you over the head for the next, like, hour. Mm. Um, <laughs> yes. I was I was very oh yeah I was very impressed yeah they they did I have a stage presence they have a very just Mm -hmm. dynamic just awesome stage presence and um now beautiful guitars all of them like just (laughs) gorgeous and and then um this guitarist I mean both guitars were amazing the Mm -hmm. bass was just cool but the one on this side he just had just the dynamic but I mean even the singer guitarist like Mm -hmm. had a dynamic too but I was just like yeah it was hard to try to figure out who to watch Mm -hmm. um and they were just like but I couldn't see the guy on the side for half the set because there are just people in my way Mm -hmm. but um but they're all just their state of all the stage presence was amazing and the guitars were beautiful to watch Mm -hmm. But my note is um, all I wrote for them other than that was insane powerhouse. Yes. Because it's just like, yeah, like he said, they just kind of happily beat you over the head with their music. But just, I, I know, I was like, after a couple of songs, I was just like, oh, this is so cool. I'm going to stand here and grin. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's just um, it's so good. Yeah, because I noticed, I mean, the drummer, especially uh, with his kick drums, it was almost a constant. Mm. That's that's what gave me like the homoing feeling because mm. um, there was really no break in that mm. um, which is kind of impressive actually. yeah <laughs> kind of um, and and besides the fact that the singer kind of reminded me of, of Joe Rogan oh oh yeah <laughs> uh, um, I was trying to figure out he did kind of remind me of somebody but I could not place it yeah t- totally um, but I will say between or within all the pummeling there were nice like interludes of like mm-hmm. twin guitar stuff, which is actually oh, really really pretty. Yes. Um, like yeah, very very. Mm-hmm. So there was enough of uh, dynamics to mm-hmm. you know. And then I think was this the one? I think this was the band that had a. a did he kind of do a little of that Zach Wild twing thing? Um, 
was. And there was another band that had a little bit of it, but this mm -hmm. one seemed like, I think this is the one that had a little more, but in the right spots, like mm -hmm. not overdone. Um, so yeah, it was, but I just kind of like, but I mean, for just being the phenomenally beautiful guitars and how good, mm -hmm. yeah, how good they harmonized because that just goosebumps feel mm -hmm. that I get when it's just like that perfect mm -hmm. melding of sounds. Yeah. Yeah, this just was just really good. Really good. I was, I was, a, I can see why they were the headliner. Mm -hmm. I was highly impressed. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and again, for starting at 11 after a mm -hmm. full day, they actually had a, a fairly good, I mean, mm -hmm. people started to filter out, I think, during their set. Yeah. But at the end, they still had, you know, a fairly mm -hmm. good, fairly good crowd, so. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, so that was our first uh, Zimmerderfest. Zimmerderfest? Exactly. Zai, I think it's Zai. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't like yesterday when I just said murder fast. I no, 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 you forgot the first part. Oh, it's mm -hmm. Zai murder fast. Okay. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. that, was, yeah. that was good. That was um, fun. We could try to do that next year for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, if you do it again, we'll definitely uh, mm -hmm. come back. Um, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and again, good turnout. And, and we had friends show up. And yeah. Oh, yeah, that was, that was nice. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because yeah, it's always I mean, nice to see people. Because you had, you know, Masha Dan and Alex and Kellerman and Aaron and uh, Willie and Natalie and showed up mm -hmm. like literally right before Gerg Crown went on stage. Mm -hmm. um, so they missed three quarters of it, but eh, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, she said they'd been in North Dakota till like four in the morning or something. Um, oh, did did let another show? They must have. They must have. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, that explains. It. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So she said they were just they fasted. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, that's the, that was that was nice to yeah. I look over and I saw Masha Dan and I'm like, oh, Masha Dan is here and he's like, oh, there's Alex. So mm -hmm. you know, and then so we're like, yes, okay. Now we just because you always know that's gonna be a good show. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, Anything that Macho Dan approves of, mm -hmm. approves of and comes out to, mm -hmm. yeah, that's gonna be good. Yeah. And I always love chatting up with Alex and then he's like, look, I got some cat videos. <laughs> so that's that's always fun. Oh man, that that was fun. That was just a very fun day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Different good beers to try and just a fun day and mm -hmm. the pizza was good and um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we didn't well, drink any water. We didn't drink any <laughs> like water. Like adults should have, um, but oh, we only had what four beers each. Four ish, each? yeah, four. Oh, and then that ginger ale and oh. the root beer, mm -hmm. which the root beer was very. The ginger ale was good, but the ginger ale was good. It was very. It wasn't it was as very light. It was very light, kind of mellow, more mm -hmm. citrusy, mm -hmm. but still really good. Root beer is excellent. Mm -hmm. Um, and then. And they have good staff there. Their staff is real nice and yeah, and quick, very fast. Oh, very quick. Uh, yeah, you don't uh, wait. Very, very attentive. Like yeah. hardly like at there all. There was hardly ever a line mm -hmm. at the at the mm -hmm. taps. And, and it was really good. They had the porta potties outside. That was a really and good they do idea. Extra um, yeah. Mm -hmm. And and as I dubbed it this morning, they had the the merch village outside. Merch village. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Which I did a quick quick shot of. Not a very good shot of, but a uh -huh. shot of. Um, which is very, I mean, it was just, it was just a good setup, like, yeah, yeah, um, Oof. yeah, it was, it was good. And then, what was the one that they created just for, the, the wizard's robe? Oh, black wizard robe was the, yeah, which was, is, which is another, another black ale. It was the launch of that. The launch of that, did, yes. Yesterday, um, and then there was a gentleman with, I think was, doing homage, paying homage to the beer, or maybe he was the inspiration. inspiration. We don't know. But um he had like a black wizard robe and a staff. And a staff and and he was he's just hanging out, just having a good old time. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so that was fun. And we should have got his story, like yeah, hey, we, dude, we should've, you know what's going on, story, but we didn't think about it until this morning. Until literally so. yeah, this morning, literally like but, two hours ago. But um mm -hmm. but yeah, and then uh what was the other one that I had? Oh, the, the Zeitgeist. Mm -hmm. uh, which was a like Pilsner. German Pilsner, uh, mm -hmm. which is actually quite good. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think I had one of the... You had a the, Cherry Porter. Oh, the Cherry Porter. Yeah, that was, was good. the first one I had. That, that mm -hmm. one was pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, never enough cherries for my taste, but mm -hmm. uh, they were there. Mm -hmm. um, 
And then I had one of the, the Sherlock's, Sherlock's mm -hmm. uh, which way fruitier than I remember. That was delicious. Yeah. And nice and refreshing after. Because uh, Aaron, our buddy Aaron, had tried the 17.5, uh, whatever. The Marzana, the Crone. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, and he was like mm -hmm, struggling through it. <laughs> it is potent. I tried that the last time we were up there, and it is, you only need one of those. It's very complex. Um, As Aaron said, there's a lot going on there. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, I remember that from last time. I mean, time. it's definitely, it's, but it is. It's, it is what you should expect from a 17.5 ABV beer. Mm -hmm. um, it's not falsely advertised. Not so, at all. But not at you, all. Um, it's definitely not for the faint of heart. If you're not... If you don't like to chew your beer, if you don't like to chew your beer, and uh, even if you do like to chew you... your beer, like I, I tend to, but, um, but even me, I almost needed a knife and a fork for that. Mm -hmm. Like, like you commented that they were doing like you know half, half glasses half fours because on it. it's got the high ABV, and like I would do, I like I would do maybe like two ounce shots. Yeah, like that's as much as you need. Mm -hmm. um, and you could do the little fancy like. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, you don't need more than that because mm. yeah, it, it's the only beer I've encountered that tastes like whiskey. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, but yeah. Um, yeah, as we we're discussing, uh, both times now we've been we've been there, we've been impressed. Everything mm -hmm. we've tried has been delicious. Mm -hmm. uh, it it has a good a good atmosphere. It has a good vibe. As we said, the stats really cool. Um, mm -hmm. The cat was not there. We did no, not see the cat. No cats. But that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yep. So it was a good day. Mm -hmm. Well, we gotta and, get packed. And, and now we gotta get packed and check out. And then yep. zoom zoom. And then yeah, find some other adventure to do today. Other, yeah. See what else Menominee has yeah. to offer us. Menominee. So, Menominee. <laughs> um, so yeah. All right. Until next time, we'll. Mm -hmm. See you later. Oh.